You know what? Lucid CEO keeps banging on about how Tesla are 10, 12. I think he's saying now 12 years. He changes the dates every time you talk to him. How many years Tesla are behind Lucid? Tesla's efficiency apparently is absolutely garbage compared to Lucid. That's what the CEO of Lucid says now. Yeah, I mean, obviously he has a, a vested interest in making these kind of claims, which to be honest are kind of ridiculous. But the Tesla Model 3, it turns out for all the bashing it's received from Lucid's CEO is actually the most efficient EV that's ever been tested. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Thank you to our Patreon supporters, guys. Couldn't do this without you. Your support, even if it's one, two dollars, actually makes a big difference. So I want to put a link in the description below to our Patreon page. And if you can support us, that would be phenomenal. What is going on here with the Tesla Model 3? Well, the new Model 3 Highland with lithium ion phosphate batteries, which guys, to be honest, the lithium ion phosphate batteries in the Highland. I love Tesla. I do love the car company. I get bashed for loving Tesla sometimes. People say, oh, you just love Tesla. Shut the hell up. You're being biased here. There may be some truth in that, but let's be honest about the battery cells in the Model 3. They are pretty crappy. I mean, maybe I should rephrase that. They're not the Shenzhen battery, which we thought they would be. They're not the Chilin 2.0 battery, which we thought they might be as well. Um, from CATL, they're two of the most advanced lithium ion phosphate batteries in the world, which you can get in other cars now. Uh, they're not the short blade battery, uh, LFP batteries, which have 192 watt hours per kilogram of energy density. It's a bit less than the uh, Shenzhen battery, but it's right up there with the best in the world. They're not the BYD blade battery version two. Uh, they're not, um, to be honest, that advanced. They're kind of a bit old school now. They are safe. They are safe and they are cheap. That's why Tesla still uses them. They are the cheapest batteries you can buy, especially at the scale Tesla purchases them. And that is why I'm really surprised to see the efficiency of the Model 3 be so incredibly good with these batteries. There's a lot of Chinese car companies which in one aspect, they are talking out their behinds. And it's embarrassing, guys. I've mentioned this, I would say more than 100 times. I probably sound repetitive, Chinese car companies and even American ones, but global car companies coming up with these so-called drag coefficient claims, which are complete bullshit. I mean, they are so ridiculous. Basically, the Model 3 is a brick in comparison to a lot of these Chinese cars coming out, which claim their efficiency is just miles better than Model 3. When I say their efficiency, I mean their aerodynamic efficiency. That's what they're claiming. And they're not. This stuff is just made up. Uh, to be honest, if you're reading these OECD claims, these um, claims about aerodynamic efficiency from car manufacturers, then have a look at their real world efficiency tests and they don't match. They do not match at all. Anyhow, the Model 3's efficiency, it does match. Bjorn Nyland has done a highway test. This highway test he did was actually remarkable. I don't know what the hell Tesla's done, what magic juice they put in the Model 3 because it doesn't have particularly impressive batteries at all. Uh, the motors, they're good, but they're not groundbreaking. What the hell are Tesla doing here? Their software, we know their software is insanely impressive, but how do they do this, right? The Tesla model, Tesla gets bashed, but it should not. We should be looking at this and going, what the freak, what sort of magic source is Tesla applying here? In the US, the base 2024 Tesla Model 3 rear wheel drive has an EPA rated energy efficiency of 25 kilowatt hours per 100 miles, right? That's pretty good. 25 kilowatt hours per 100 miles or four miles for every kilowatt hour. That's better than about 95% of the industry. But, okay, you're probably thinking that's not very efficient, but actually that's a combination of city and highway driving. That, that said, EVs are meant to be less efficient on the highway. In fact, they're always less efficient on the highway because in city driving, you're constantly using regen, you're driving at slower speeds, and therefore your EV will actually get more range driving in a city scenario, which is complete opposite to an internal combustion, which is why I was really surprised to see this video from Bjorn Nyland, who tests the cars. He tested a Model 3. Uh, this was in Europe. And he, after 114 miles... Right, the efficiency was a staggering 5.5 miles per kilowatt hour. So what, like 25% better than Tesla's claims? At 56 miles an hour, that's 90 kilometers an hour. That's not that's not hypermiling it. Hypermiling guys is when you're driving at about 40 miles an hour. So actually, in fact, probably 30 to 40 miles would be hypermiling it. This is not hypermiling. So that efficiency is pretty staggering. 
But what's even more staggering is that that's 1.5 miles per kilowatt hour more than the EPA rating. But even more staggering was the other tests he did. At a speed of 74.5 miles an hour, most electric cars at 74.5 miles an hour, their efficiency is not very good. That's their big Achilles heel. But the efficiency was better than, than claimed. This is never, I have never seen this happen before. I've watched quite a few of Bjorn's videos, but I've never seen another car at 75 miles an hour be um, return a better, a better average than its overall combined efficiency number. So 4.03 miles per kilowatt hour, 154 watts per kilometer, it returned on a 74.5 mile per hour run. So that's what, 100 and, about 120 kilometers an hour. Now, Lucid says their vehicle has an efficiency of five miles per kilowatt hour, but I believe that's probably at closer to uh, that kind of speed, right? Where we talked about before, at the speed of 56 miles an hour, 90 kilometers. So Tesla, in theory, is actually beating that, getting 5.49. And maybe maybe the Lucid can, can achieve six at that speed. I don't know exactly, but it's not gonna be all that much different, is it? It's not. It might be a little better, but it's not gonna be hugely better. So far, this is the best efficiency EV ever tested by Bjorn Nyland. And he's done a lot of tests. This guy doesn't bullshit his tests. He's very legitimate. The 2023 20, uh, Tesla Model 3 rear wheel drive comes with a 61 kilowatt hour lithium ion phosphate battery. Now that's the actual usable battery pack that gives it a range of 272 miles. That's in the United States. In Australia, uh, in other countries, the range is 455 kilometers. Sorry, that's the Tesla Model Y. The range for the Model 3 is 513 kilometers. So from a battery that small, 60.9, so let's say 61 kilowatt hour usable battery pack, range of 513 kilometers WLTP is amazing. That's, that's some serious engineering feat, especially considering the energy density of those batteries is not particularly high. I think it's only about 160 watt hours per kilogram. It might be 170, but it wouldn't be up there with the Shenzhen battery. It wouldn't be up there with these new, very modern lithium ion phosphate batteries from CATL, which they are not using, which we all hope and believe they will use in the new Tesla Model Y. Now, the irony of all of this, guys, is if you live in the United States, you should not buy this car that was just tested. You should, If you live in Europe or Australia, anywhere else outside of the US, yeah, you should buy it 100%. I, I think if you're in the market for an electric sedan, if you want a sedan, this is a phenomenal vehicle, and I would put it in my top two electric sedans you can get. The other one would be probably the Zika 001. Not probably, definitely. But in the US, it doesn't qualify for EV incentives because of the fact that it uses uh, these lithium ion phosphate batteries, which are from CATL. So that means it's $39,000, but it's actually more expensive than the long range version of this car, which has a lot more range. Uh, much bigger battery pack and has two motors and it's only 45 i believe about forty five thousand dollars for the long range version but then it qualifies for the EV incentive so it ends up coming down to about thirty seven thousand us dollars meaning it's about two thousand dollars cheaper than the standard range anyhow that's probably not relevant to a lot of you guys but just thought i'd throw that out there this range is staggering and how the hell teslas have pulled this off in the real world getting much much higher efficiency than what it's claimed to get. Normally we bash Tesla, we bash, we say Tesla's not gonna get the range, that they, don't, they never get the real world range. Well, guys, if you're reading those comments, be very careful it's not written by a competitor, very careful it's not written by someone else with just a rival EV who's bitter, because these are the this is the scenario where you can see if someone's telling the truth. The Model 3 is able to get this kind of efficiency at that speed, I mean, at 75 miles an hour, returning better efficiency than its actual combined consumption numbers. This has never happened before. And this is a truly staggering performance from the Model 3. Thanks for watching.